Hello and a very warm welcome to our fourth and new season of the show. I am looking forward to a fun, inspiring and entertaining show. Is it true that shelter is the most important need in all of us? Yes. Is it true that housing is your right? Yes. Someone even said that the best investment in art is art itself. Thank you so much for staying with us wherever your search for a home is. I do hope it's fruitful. After the break, watch how the mixture of sand, cement and water on a wire mesh can bear the load of a concrete slab. we talk to a game changer who is also a player in the construction industry and is using advanced building technology to build houses for the masses. Karibu sana. Buru Karanja, the MD, CMAX. Thank you very much. Tell us what you do here. Um, basically, we are a producer of expanded polystyrene sintered panels. Those are the EPS panels under the brand name of CMAX in partnership with the pioneer of the technology, which is Emedue from Italy. Um, the panels are basically made of, uh, as you can see here, uh, it's basically a high density um, polystyrene core, which is sandwiched with high tensile steel mesh. And this actually now allows you to build at a rapid rate uh, without the need for stone at all. We're used to call the conventional stone. Yes and uh, you have completely done away with the stone. Um, give us some of the benefits of using this. The benefits are, 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 are huge. Uh, I think the first one is we're able to cut construction time by 50%, um, just because it's a rapid building technology, it's modular. You're able to install panels uh, and then spray concrete on them the following day. The other benefits are there's the soundproofing, and thermal insulation as well. So in very hot climates, it, it performs much better than stone. And this is not a new technology. It's already in use. Yes. And uh, your mother company has, I think, been using it for several years now. Yes, um, our partner company, Emedue, are the pioneers of this technology. It's over 35 years old. It's used in over 170 countries worldwide. In fact, as we speak, uh, we are like the 20th country in Africa to adopt this technology. So it has a rapid use all over the world um, and is certified uh, in every country in the world, basically, as a building technology. Uh, why has it taken us so long to use this? I think it has a lot to do with the fact that we have our, our what you can call the Kenyan psyche. Uh, when you look at construction, there's the three M's. So if you look at our evolution uh, as Kenyans, we started with mud houses. We then moved to Mabati houses. And then we then moved to Maui. For full security, Kenyans believe that obviously you must live in a stone house. But actually our panels and our finished product is even stronger than a stone house. And this is in how many parts? This, you have cement, a bit of cement, a bit of sand, and a bit of... Yes. Um, so basically what we spray onto the wall is what we call structural mortar, uh, which is uh, uh, basically it's, it's, it's at a ratio of one part cement to four parts sand in equal measure and water, that is it. Maybe just take us through the process um, from the initial stage to the end, how you come up with the panel? Basically, we have two uh, raw materials, as you can see, to make the finished panel. The polystyrene uh, we import, uh, polystyrene is actually um, a byproduct of crude oil. We import a special polystyrene which is actually impregnated with a fiery retardant, which allows it to extinguish fire, so fires cannot pass from one room to the next which is very important uh, for safety in the household. Fires cannot go through this? It cannot. Proven? Proven, yes. Okay. Yes, uh, our, fires, our system is actually fireproof. Okay. Yes. Um, secondly, so we expand uh, the polystyrene using steam. 
and then we cut the blocks according to the design of, of what is required. So depending on what our client requires, we're able to actually make a customized panel for their project. Um, so we cut the panels according to what is required uh, by the client. And then whatever, the, whatever polystyrene that is not used, we're able to recycle it 100% to make new blocks. And then we actually get the, the steel comes in coils. So we straighten it out and make mesh from it. And then the, th the final process is actually just stitching the two meshes together. Is it environmentally friendly? Yes, it is. Um, it's, it's environmentally friend, friendly on three points. First one being that um, you can imagine by removing the need for stone uh, in the house or reducing the amount of stone that is required, you're actually reducing the carbon footprint on your house, which is very important, uh, uh, especially as we look at green building um, technologies goes. Um, secondly, that has a bigger environmental impact on our quarries. We've seen the impact of quarries after they are being disused. It's exactly a very bad uh, impact on, on Mother Nature. Uh, and thirdly, obviously, when you build with our system, because you're able to reduce the, the overall weight of, of, of the structure, you're able to actually end up using less in foundations, in concrete, and also on columns if you do need columns. How is the response from the market so far? Because you so you've told us that you built quite a number of uh, units since you yes. started. How is the response from the market? What can you say has been your experience and the response? The response from the market has been extremely positive. A reason being that the end product uh, speaks for itself. So now it is said that um, in order for the big four agenda on housing to succeed, uh, we need to embrace some of these technologies that are upcoming. How have you positioned yourself for the same? I personally believe that housing uh, will create more jobs than any other sector. And um, obviously the demand is, is continuous. I mean, once we get to the figure of half a million, we'll still need to do another half a million and half a million after that. Yeah. So it, it's, it's a continuous demand that, that is there, which is very encouraging. I'm seeing a lot of opportunities for, you know, even the people in the Juakali industry. Exactly. Everyone around, you know, sort of will benefit. Uh, because obviously by us reducing the time it takes to construct units, it means that more units can be built in a specific time frame. Um, and then obviously, uh, if you look at the Juakali sector, uh, you have artisans that build windows, carpenters that build doors and cabinetry. Um, I can see a huge boom for them. How can they reach you? How can people reach you? We're based in Riru. We're actually on the, right off the Thika Superhighway on exit number 10, uh, next to Kenya Clay Products, so Karibuni Sana. We, we love to welcome people. Um, also... Yes, we do, which is www.cmax, that is cmax.co.ke. Thank you so much for your time. And if you want more details on where to reach them, you can check out our social media handles and we'll have all the details over there. Thanks for watching.